Oh, my days off are all screwed up this week. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna do my one and a one half weeks on T video. Um, I'm not feeling quite as limp wristed and confused as I look right now. I just kind of went like, oh shit, I need to make a video today. I'm like, right upstairs and punch my laptop on. Here I am. I'm just like in the middle of organizing my freezer. Anyway, mm, changes. As, okay, so I got my shot last Friday, and then I went through Friday, and then this Friday is my second shot at two weeks, and around, like, Tuesday morning, yesterday morning, I, I can tell that it's, like, coming time for the next one. I can feel, like, the energy levels kind of dropping, and I can feel my appetite and my sex drive kind of dropping, and I can feel my enthusiasm and motivation to go do stuff kind of dropping like I can I've got a chart I could I can I could feel what it like started to kick in when it started to like really build up in my bloodstream and maybe it's just psychosomatic but like I I could feel that it's like starting to go back down again so um I'm hoping that after I've done this a few times that it'll not be quite so noticeable Otherwise, I'm going to consider going on gel, because you do that daily, and then your levels stay consistent. But, uh, I don't like, like, getting up in the morning and being like, I don't want to get up. I don't want to get up. Because I don't like feeling like that. Anyway. Changes. Not much. Uh, still more enthusiastic. I feel a little bit more easygoing. Like... Something pisses me off, and I get mad, or angry, like, pissed about it, and then, like, it's gone. And then later, I think, I, like, think about it again, and I see if it still pisses me off, and nothing, it just doesn't. It's like all that vindictiveness just dried up and disappeared. Whoosh, evaporated. So, that's kind of cool. I don't like being vindictive. It's not a... Not a personality trait that I really cherish in myself, if you know what I mean. Um, I've really, really noticed a difference in muscle mass. Um, there are some things that I wouldn't have even tried to lift before that I've given a shot and been shocked when I can like pick it up or roll it or throw it somewhere. Like, I, I would none of my my weight hasn't changed at all, and my measurements have only changed a little bit. Like half inches and inches in places, but I, c I can really tell that my strength has increased. Apparently, my girlfriend pointed out yesterday that this, you know, the trap muscle in here, your trapezius, my trapezius, is like noticeably bulkier than before, which is kind of cool. Um, it's definitely one of those positive effects of tea that I was looking for. Dust on my screen. Just a sec. It's a little better. Sorry, I stare at myself while I'm doing videos. I seem kind of poking at my screen, poking at my camera. Don't get any seizures from that, but, um, yeah, otherwise, um, no hair. No. Maybe the baby fuzz is a little bit thicker than before, but I haven't shaved in, like, almost two weeks now, so that, like, that's not tea, that's just, I haven't shaved. Uh, I might be growing a unibrow. <laughs> first thing. There's like little tiny dark hairs coming in right here, so I'm for the first time in my life I might actually have to pluck my eyebrows. I don't mind having thick eyebrows, but the unibrow look is not so cool. Oh look, it's my cat. Say hi. Um. No difference in face shape, which I don't expect that early. No difference in hairline. Oh yeah, I forgot to show off last time. This is my Mostly natural hairline. Right, yeah, see? Just so I can look at this later and see if it changes any. Um, if this side looks kind of high, it's because I used to tear, when I get nervous, I kind of tear my hair right in here, so it probably is a little bit high right in here. But I'm gonna, like, I look forward to having a more masculine hairline. I think that'll be kind of cool. My hair's starting to grow back out again. It's my dandruff has gotten ridiculous over the past week. I don't know if that has anything to do with tea, but I just figure it's different, so I pointed out. My, I usually have dandruff, but it's like snowing now. It's ridiculous. Um, I think that about does it. 
yeah. Um, my appetite was still out of control until about yesterday. I noticed that I can, I definitely can like eat way more food than I could before, and I have the urge to eat more food than I could before, which, uh, considering having kind of an eating disordered background is kind of scary. But I pretty easily, pretty easily am eating half again as much as I used to before, and I didn't gain any weight, so my body's obviously doing something with it. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'll find out. I don't think there's anything else. I, mean, I don't know if I mentioned last time having much more vivid, much more vivid dreams than before. Or like the day after my first shot, like dreams about whatever, like being on a spaceship in some kind of sci-fi setting or being on the earth and there's like a zombie apocalypse happening. I have really cool dreams. Or like um, being at work or something dull is happening, but the dreams are very vivid and kind of like stick in my head for a while after I wake up. And that's different. Vivid dreams. Noticeably increased muscle capacity, mass, ability, um, increased appetite, increased sex drive, no genital growth. At this point, I'm actually kind of wishing for genital growth so it would have something to do with my sex drive. Um, my hairline hasn't done anything, no facial hair, no body hair, none like thighs, chest, stomach, belly, shoulders, chin, neck, nothing, no hair growth, which I don't mind, I'm pretty happy with my hair. Um, anger more intense, but dissipates much faster, noticeably faster. Like I can't even bring myself to be angry about something that I was pissed off about before. And I feel more easygoing, probably because I'm not thinking, oh, what do I do to get tea now? What do I do about this? What do I do about that? Where do I get another binder? You know, I don't have all this other crap on my mind now. I can spend a little bit more time focusing on everything else in my life other than my gender issues, which probably is why I'm more easygoing, so I can't really attribute that to T in the slightest, because that's just lifestyle stuff. Uh, yeah, that covers it. Shots on Friday. I should be learning how to self-inject this week. Yeah, they're at Cal and Lord, they teach you how to self-inject over three appointments, they show you how everything works and explain it really well, they have you do all the preparation, but then they do the injection for you, and then the third time they have you do all the preparation and the injection on yourself, and if you do well at all three of those, then you get to start doing your own injections. They're doing all of mine then, because I live so fucking far away that... I, I can't afford to, and they don't want to have to make me pay to keep going all the way out there just to get an injection. So, hopefully all in one appointment they're gonna show me how to self-inject and I get some saline solution to practice with, like, while they're sitting there watching. Which would be cool, because I want to be able to take care of this myself. I really don't want to have to go down to the clinic all the fucking time. Um... My one month blood work is in May, at which point if they're going to raise my dose they will. Um, I really don't care one way or another. This is the only time in my life I'm ever going to have the chance to experience going through a second puberty, I guess. This is the only time in my life I'll ever have the chance to experience these things. So if they come kind of slowly so I have time to actually think about them and consider them and like, appreciate them, I'm cool with that. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm, I'm one of those people who, like, the journey is the big deal, not the end goal, because once you get to the goal, you just start moving somewhere else. I'm not the kind of person that lays around when I get to my goal and, like, not do anything, so, um, yeah, that's it. God damn, this video got long. Yeah, so, uh, I'll probably check in next week with another video.